after praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and sending salutations, peace and blessings upon the best of creation, the jewel and crown of creation, the beloved of Allah Almighty, the coolness to our eyes, the purpose of our lives, the reviver of our hearts, the inspirer to our minds, the awakener of our souls, the most honored one, the most praised one, the most generous one, the most kind one, undoubtedly he is the most beautiful one. None other than Sayyiduna Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Ala Alihi Wa Ashabihi Wa Barak Wa Sallam. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala said in the Quran in a number of places وَمَا الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا إِلَّا مَتَاعُ الْغُرُورُ وَمَا الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا إِلَّا لَعِبٌ وَلَهْوٌ What is this life? What is this life except the playground of deception? What is this life that we live? What has happened to our community today? What is happening to us right now? I want every single one of you to listen carefully to the message I want to give. This life is a handful of years. We will not live in this world forever. Allah did not create me and you to be gangsters. Allah did not create me and you to be bad boys. Allah did not create me and you to be thugs. Allah did not create me and you to torture your parents. Allah did not create me and you to cause grief in our families. Allah created you to worship Him. Allah created you to be good to Him. Allah created you that you take responsibility. What's happened to us is not the first time. In the last five, ten years, we have suffered many cases like this. There have been many cases where our young brothers, 19, 20 year olds, 21, 22 year olds, have sadly passed away speeding on the streets, competing on the streets. There's a status competition out there. Our young lads want to look bad. They want to hire out RS3s and RS4s. They want to hire out death traps. That's what these cars are. They are death traps. We are losing too many young lives because of these death traps. How are higher companies hiring out cars like RS3s and 4s, Lamborghinis, Ferraris? How are they hiring powerful motors out? How are they hiring out powerful motors? How are they hiring out such cars to young people? He's not even insured to drive that car. The policy won't even cover him. Where is that young man carrying that body from? Where are those young people getting that money from? These are not old men that have gone. They have not passed away from a heart attack. They don't have diabetes. They have not passed away from a natural death. Some things happened which has caused them to, in the end, it was written that their life was to go. But ask those parents that are standing here, how do they feel right now? How can you bury your 20 year old son in the ground? For those families, it is like Qiyamat, the day of judgment. My father was 50 and I'm still reeling. These are young families. They are young people. Their whole life was ahead of them. But you see what one moment of madness can do. One moment of madness. What do you think life is? Why have we made life worthless? Why do we put ourselves into situations? 
Why are we putting ourselves into circumstances? So many young lads, so many young lads. I'm not mentioning anyone or anything here in general. So many young lads, stoned, drugs, alcohol. So many young lads. Father says, come home, put that time for us, car. He says, who are you to tell me? Who are you to tell me what to do? I'm a big boy now. How many young lads are in that situation right now? How many of our people, how many of us as a community have suffered scenarios like this? How many of us as a community have gone through a problem like this? Atar, Hamza, Frising Hall, Leeds Road, sports cars, death traps, driving fast. You think it's cool to drive fast? You think you're a bad man driving fast on the roads? You know what it does? This is what it does. Look, this is what happens. If anybody standing here does not feel the pain of this family, you should be ashamed of yourself. Shall I tell you why? Shall I tell you why? They have not lost their members of the family. The whole community has lost these kids. Every single one of us have lost these brothers. And every single time we lose our brothers or sisters in this manner, my brothers and sisters, you know who's responsible? Me and you. We have let them down. We have caused this problem. We have allowed time and time and time again for this to happen. It's become a regular occurrence. It has become a regular occurrence. Time and time again, our youth are happy to be unemployed. Our youth want to go out, roam the streets. They want to go to nightclubs. They want to drive fast cars. It's a status symbol. I'm a bad man. I'm cool. What's cool? Tell me, what's cool? Is this cool? Is this the result of what is cool? Is this what we want? Look at the whole of Bradford has been rocked. Sky News, BBC News, Daily Mail, all newspapers. It has been headline news. What's happened in Bradford? All the time in Bradford. What's happening to our people? When are we going to wake up and realize it's life, the way our youth are living it, they are going to continue to live in this manner. We are going to continue to lose our youth in these ways. Listen to your parents. Don't be bad in front of your parents. As a community, we should step up. I am sorry to say, and I say this openly. You know, as a community, when these sorts of janazas happen, you know what the truth is? We failed. We have failed. Our masajid are failing. Our work, our public servants are failing. Parents are not doing their jobs. There's something wrong. There is something gravely wrong. Something's going wrong. If this is what's going to happen in our communities time and time again, it is time for us to stand up and be responsible, to take responsibility and leadership. We as Muslims should unite. And we as Muslims at this moment in time need to sit we cannot let this happen again this cannot happen again i have lost brothers here you have lost brothers here why wake up this life is nothing except a playground of deception this life is just a play this life is amusement life is not a joke life is not a joke life has value value what allah has given you Value what Allah has given you before you lose it and before we have to do a janazah like this again. Open your eyes, wake up. Wake up Muslims in Bradford, wake up. We cannot let this happen again. May Allah grant these brothers a high place in Jannatul Firdaus. May Allah forgive their sins. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
allow us to act upon what has been said. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.